ideas for World Book Day. Hi, I'm Roger Stevens, and here are some ideas for your World Book Day. You can have a book swap. Children bring in their favourite book into the classroom, maybe talk a little bit about it, swap it with another book. They bring in lots of books. You have a big all free for all of a book swap. Another idea, you could all dress up as characters from your favourite books. What I used, what I did a couple of times as a teacher, we had a, a dress an egg. We had to dress an egg as our favourite character. I remember I made it a Dracula. I made a little coffin for the egg. Um, rather than an egg, I've seen on the internet people are using potatoes. That's a great idea. Dress a potato as your favourite book character or any vegetable. Okay, I'm going to give you three ideas now for poetry. Number one, this is a very simple idea. You charge your really keen readers. You find that really keen readers in your class, the, the children who love having reading books, they've got their head in a book all of the time, and you charge them with finding five poems, one for each morning of World Book Day week. So every morning of the week, of World Book Day, you begin the day with a poem that they have chosen. Okay, it's a very simple idea, gets the day off to a fantastic start with some poetry. Maybe spend a few minutes talking about the poem that they've chosen, maybe asking them why they've chosen it. Funny poem one day, serious poem another day, that would be up to them. A bit like an editor putting together poems for an anthology. Idea number two, this involves your, your colleagues. So you need to ask other members of staff. They can be teachers, they can be the head teacher, they can be cleaners, they can be secretaries, they can be, um, they can be uh, teaching assistants. Anybody in your school, really, the caretaker, they have to choose a poem, a poem that they really like, or a poem that represents them in some way. You then print out the poem, put it onto a sheet of A4 paper with a number. Number one, Daffodils by Wordsworth, there's the poem. And you put the poems up around the school in the corridors and so on. You need at least 10 teachers for this to work, really. Um, and the teachers have to choose poems that they think will give the children a clue as to who they are. So it's a treasure hunt. So the children will go around on World Book Day and try and guess which poem was chosen by which teacher. Obviously, if all the teachers choose really obscure adult poems, it is not going to work. But maybe a teacher's really, really keen on football. So that teacher will choose a poem about football. So the teachers themselves have to think what poem might give the children a clue. And it's good fun. And it does two things, really. It gets children, obviously, involved in poetry and get, gets the children quite excited. Oh, there's a treasure hunt going on. But also it involves the teachers in looking at poems and choosing appropriate poems. So it's good on both of those fronts. Idea number three is an idea that I got from uh, Oak, Mile Oak School in Hove. And they were having a speed dating poetry day. Speed dating. I don't know if you've ever done speed dating. It was a big thing a few years back. Maybe you've even, maybe the person that you're living with now, your current partner, you met through speed dating. I don't know. Anyway, it works like this. You need, supposing you've got 30 children in your class, okay? Then you need 30 poetry books. You can get those, I, I hope you've got 30 poetry books in your class. If you haven't, borrow some from next door or from the school library, it's fine. Then you need a sheet of paper like this. On this column here, I've written the 30 books that you've you found 30 poetry books there they are written down there 
Razzmatazz, Roger Stevens, it's me. Lost Magic, Brian Moses, and so on. There's your list of poems or poetry books. Then you've got three columns. This column is makes me laugh. This column is makes me think. And this column is for stars, awarding stars. Okay. Here's how it works. So the children are all out to play, having a good time. They all come into the classroom. Oh, what's going on here? They all sit down. On each desk is a poetry book. Okay, you're going to give them three minutes to look at that poetry book, read a few poems from the book. You're then going to ring a bell, blow a whistle, make an appropriate noise, and the children all move on to another book. Okay, so they get three minutes of one book, and then they have to say, oh, does this, does this book have oh, there's some funny poems in it? Did a poem make me laugh? Oh, did that poem make me think? How many stars will I give this book out of five? My, I really like this book. I'm going to give it four out of five stars. You do this ten times. So it takes half an hour. Okay. So they're going to move around ten times, three minutes each time. And then at the end, you can discuss with the children books they particularly liked, um, why they liked them, books they didn't like. You can talk about the covers of the books, what books look like. The whole point of this exercise is to get children to pick up books that they otherwise might not have looked at. So there'll be books in your classroom that nobody's bothered to look at probably all term or since they've been there. Um, books in the library that they wouldn't normally pick up and look at poetry books. So you're getting children looking at different poetry books and you're hoping that they will come back at a later date to read one of those books uh, and read the poems in the book. So there you are, three ideas. And I'd like to tell you that this session has been brought to you by Razzmatazz. Razzmatazz. It's my new book, all my favourite poems, lots of my most requested poems. Here we are, Razzmatazz, comes out now. So there we are. Have a fantastic World Book Day, everybody. Bye-bye.